So we met in San Francisco, actually. Um, at the time, I was running an organization that helped. I was... No, that's not true. <laughs> no, you're right, we met in Perth. Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I uh, had a condition called otosclerosis and that is actually a condition that can be fixed through an operation. So my severe hearing loss um, is, still, is still there, but I actually had prosthetic pistons placed in the ears um, to, uh, to restore my hearing. And to get it all back in one hit gave me a real big sense of what people are struggling with. We set about changing lives and uh, I think in the process changed ours a little bit as well. <laughs> Unfortunately, hearing loss is, is growing every year and the World Health Organization says it's going to 1.5 billion people potentially will have hearing loss. So um, it is an epidemic. The one thing that we've been able to do with New Hearer is to, is to really open up the opportunity for more and more people to actually address their hearing health certainly at an earlier stage. And World Hearing Day is, is very critical in, in highlighting some of those, those aspects of how we can prevent hearing loss, not just treat it. When we brought our first product to market, seeing a product in people's ears that they'd put money down to buy and saw how it changed their lives, that was, that was pretty major. All right, there we are. So, what? <laughs> Wait, wait, keep, keep going, keep going. So I want to make sure this isn't like a fluke. Keep okay, going, keep going. Okay, so I'm going to continue talking to you. So you're experiencing that intelligent hearing. Yes. Right? But you're also listening to music. So this is the augmented world. This yeah. is the future. This is augmented hearing. He has quite severe hearing loss in one of his ears. So he was actually a really good candidate to try one of our first prototypes. That was one of our first prototypes then. Realize what the magic is. These things are for real. These things are for real, Tom. Okay. I can't hear anything he's saying now. Watch me. I'm gonna go back to home. Yo. Oh! <laughs> I'm alive again. It's the best of both. It's isolation when you want it. It's socialization when you need it. They're amazing. They're amazing. These are so cool. This is so cool. Justin said, "Have you seen this unbox therapy thing?" And then I told my son that we we're on unbox therapy, and he went. Wow, that's amazing, Dad. And it was it was a big moment. But I think the fact that he had the doubter sitting next to him yeah, throughout yeah. the video. Yeah, right. Um, they yeah. just didn't believe, no. right? And then he got his chance to wear them, and then in the end he believed. I've got two young children, and a lot of the time I would see the kids playing, but I didn't know what they were talking about. I didn't hear any of the things they were doing. I just took it for granted that I just didn't hear things, it was just the way it was. That, that, that one for me was significant because I think for the first time we really captured the impact of hearing on him as an individual, but also the impact it had on the people around him. She wanted to know why I was crying, and if she needed to get mum or not, and I said, no, no, and she said, are they happy tears or sad tears, Dad? I said, they're happy tears because I can hear you. That, yeah. That really hit me, almost to tears, that one. Um, Highlights this unacceptability of not treating, yeah. right? When, when the average age of hearing aid wearer is 72 years, yeah. and people like him in his 30s, mm. and that, that's where we you know, all start to lose our hearing, mm. um, are struggling with hearing, and not doing anything about it for decades. Yeah. The, the impact that has is yeah. massive. Next World Hearing Day is, is just about um, more and more people wearing smart devices in their ears that can help them improve the quality of their life, whether it be hearing augmentation or translation or whatever. But the reality is, as time goes on, it will become ubiquitous that people are wearing things in their ears. You know, and the tech um, is going to move with that mass adoption. We, we recognised it before anyone else, that this is, there's a real opportunity here to drive uh, hearing into the wearable um, wearable platform. If we've got this situation where hearing is normal, so wearing things in your ears is normal, so there's this normalisation of, of anything in your ear, that's major.